We're here to solve this Tapa by David Altizio called Four Point of Star. It has uh, some key connectivity constraints we're going to, I think, run into throughout the solve, and that's something I'm seeing just based off these small numbers. For instance, in this lower left part of the grid, the 1-1 one, one clue is going to keep you from having big groups around it. That means that this 3-3 three, three clue will have to do something like this, but in marking these edges we can't get both cells shaded into. We see that we've got a bit of Tapa here in the bottom. That's starting to grow out and right now I'm going to not be connected to the bit of top over here. This could come up through two of the cells in this channel but can't come fully through the channel. So in order to connect to the rest of the grid, it's going to have to come around this four and come up this side. Notice that a one, two, two is a fully packed clue. So it's going to have three white cells but only single white cells. So around this we'll always have to shade uh, clues. That means for this four, we have to have this opposite corner marked off, which means if the connectivity has this moving around the grid, it's got to come through these cells. This one, two, two is now fulfilled there. So we put this in, that finishes the four. This comes in to finish the connection. Um, that moves a cell here and a cell here to complete this clue. So we got this start to the grid. We still have a case where these cells can't come through this channel, so these cells are going to have to come around the top, and uh, they also can't kind of come straight through all these cells, and we'll have to take a path that includes this top group and include these groups. And if we think about how we get a uh, two-by-two two group around this clue, uh, we will have to take these cells and corner it this way. So we've got this knowledge for sure. We've got a case where we're going to have to take one single over here and one of these cells as a single. Let's now actually look at connection in the other corner we haven't explored yet. And so in this corner, we just have twos and ones, and so we'll never get around this corner. So uh, there are a few things we can note from that. First, these cells here will have to cross through some channel like this. And any cells up here will have to cross through a channel like this. And so the crossing here will always take through the middle cells, and it'll take two and two, either this group or this group. But this will help us uh, mark in some more things. Having these cells shaded for sure marks this off, marks these in. The crossing here could take these or could take these, but it always will use this clue as part of the three. So we know that this is a one down here, and we know that a three is going to be coming across. And marking that in, we get uh, some of these things known for sure. We again now want to think about cells we can and can't take here. A cell like this we can't take because it's going to never have enough room to get out, but this is also a cell that's pinned because of all the twos around it. So if this were this two, it's now blocked in by all sides. If this came this way, it's blocked in by all sides. So this is not a reachable cell. These cells are. We now still have to get two twos around this space. And notice if I don't use this cell and form this group, there's not going to be a way to get two twos to happen. So this is shaded, this is marked off, this is shaded, this completes the one three. Um, this comes up to be a valid part of a two two clue, but that now marks off this. So this is the way the two two through this connection looks. That marks in this. Get these cells coming in. Uh, for this group, the 2-2 two, two is here. Notice if I take this cell, I mark off both of these, and so that won't stay connected. So this doesn't use this cell, it uses these. This makes connections. To keep this in, we can't take this cell because it would block off the rest, so we put in the others. So this is a, a challenging early week puzzle, but it really used one kind of observation everywhere, which is why it was a good Tuesday uh, puzzle from David. It very much needs to stay these groups from the lower left all connected, but they've got to come around these borders. We've got to come through these tight channels and meet in the middle. So this connectivity kinds of thinking, particularly how to look around ones and twos, is what's really going to drive the solve. And hopefully through this video you got some intuition about where to find those tight spaces that are tricky to get through. We'll see you again soon.